Hi, hello and welcome to another video by the scientist formerly known as Nigeli. I would like to present you uh, another small video that I made with this toy here. I guess you immediately see what attracted me. It was this soda can that was used for this uh, cable cabin. So as I like to play around with those, um, let's have a try. And before we start with the unboxing of the toy, here a small teaser how the final product looks like. You see it's this uh, cable car made of a soda can moving up and down and changing direction each time it reaches one end of the line. Okay, let's start with the unboxing. You see here I have a German version. But uh, I was very surprised when taking away the envelope, which contained all the description, an English version was underneath. So the box itself contains a lot of plastic parts uh, that you have to assemble, with the exception of the cable car itself. I was impressed about the detailed uh, instruction manual. So the first thing we have a look at is this part called wheel support. It contains a switch uh, where the reversing shaft, that's how it is called in the instruction manual, is clipped on. If the reversing shaft is uh, clicked on, the switch moves into the middle and changes the function of the motor. These are the cable stop holes. You need to click them together onto the cable close to each end of the string. Push the two side wheels onto the axle at the end of the wheel support. Push on the two side wheel locks to hold the wheels in place. Push the medium wheel spindle through the hole in the center of the wheel support. Push the medium pulley wheel onto the end of the spindle. Now we switch from the wheel support to the part that is called motor housing. Push the motor spindle end first into its hole in the motor housing with the wire terminals at the bottom. Push the motor pulley wheel onto the spindle of the motor. Place the motor cover over the end of the motor and secure it with the two screws. The wires should come out through the bottom of the cover. Now the wheel support and the motor housing are combined. Push on the large pulley wheel. Now comes the wiring. Uh, I recommend you to carefully follow the instruction manual how to connect uh, the different cables. Then put two 1.5 volts AAA batteries into the battery case. Stretch an elastic band around the motor pulley wheel and the large pulley wheel. Stretch another elastic band around the small pulley on side of the large pulley wheel and the medium pulley wheel. I added a blue sticker to the medium pulley so you can see that the rotation direction is changing when the reversing shaft is pushed. So that was already everything about the technical part. Now we come to the cable car itself. So I tried all the different variations of soda cans, uh, if they fit, but nothing did. So we have to make it ourselves. 
So I would like to guide you to my YouTube channel where you find a lot of uh, projects around soda cans, especially on how to remove the ink. Another way of finding it is to just open your browser and type in ink removal from soda cans and you will directly find the video. Here it will be described in detail how you can remove the ink from the soda can so you can use it for your cable car. And the trick concerning the size is just to produce two and then shorten one and push one onto the other. Place the car under the motor housing with the rim on the base of the can over the hook. Push the can spindle through its hole to secure the can in place. Then decorate the empty soda can with the stickers that came with in the box. Now you need to set up a cable for your cable car to run along. You need two points to tie your string to. They could be bed post and the back of a chair or two chairs. They should just be uh, at least two meters apart from each other. Then loop the cable around the wheels and turn on the battery. The battery provides electricity to the motor which turns the pulley wheel at high speed. The pulleys work as a gear, they reduce the speed of rotation so that the top wheel that the string loops around turns quite slowly. This wheel is the power wheel. It pulls on the string, which pulls the cable car along. Friction between the power wheel and the string stops the car from sliding. However, even if it looks fine now here in the video, where the cable car is moving up and down, I had to play around for a long time to find the correct settings. Have fun!